the time is not so much important, especially in the heats. But we do move now to the block using prelims. Championship yeah, well, of America Heats. Yeah, bring in some of the major Power Five conference teams like the uh, in lane six, Houston. Do they, do they run sprints down there? I think they've uh, been called. We've been called a few things with sprint in the name. Absolutely. Of course, we had mentioned, and I know Kevin and Gordon had talked about it on previews. Kind of the, I guess we could call it a rivalry now as oh, yeah. Leroy Burrell has moved on from Houston to Auburn with. Carl Lewis still coaching the sprinters down there in Houston, Speed City, and they always do such a great job year in and year out. Of producing great, great sprinters and great relay teams as well. I'm trying to see if Sean Maswagani is out there. I believe he is, a South African Olympian, is the double champion for the Cougars indoors, 60 and 200 at the American Conference Championships. You see him there in the red on the left of your screen is Coppin State and Virginia lining up as well. But Sean Maswagani, who's run 10-0, is definitely the firecracker of this Houston team. So uh, not that there's a lot of time to do any uh, scoreboard watching, but again, Houston in the first heat, throwing down probably a pretty solid number for everybody else to say, okay, they get, if, if they win, they get the auto qualifier, but uh, let, let's see how they fare time-wise around around this oval in the rain with a little bit of a breeze. And you want to talk about history. Houston has won the last three relays, of course. Like you said, that two-year hiatus. So they won in 2022 and then 19 and 18. Get this, also won back in 89 and before that, 1980. And that team was anchored by none other than King Carl. So a lot of history here, and it's so cool to see the athletes progress. Of course, Carl Lewis was busy in between, you know, yeah. running in 1980 and coaching. Now he's doing a few other things like winning nine Olympic gold medals, but it's cool to see them come full circle. All right, and currently the uh, Houston Cougars at 39 flat, number two of the uh, entries in the Championship of America heats. As again, the uh, combatants getting their starting blocks situated, and again, so crucial but to those first couple strides and getting into that drive phase early on in this four by one relay. Yeah, Houston seventh in the nation right now with that 39 flat, which is just unbelievable. I mean, six teams under 39 seconds at the collegiate level is, is unreal. Uh, and, and so many sprint powerhouses. You do have to count Houston among them, of course, but LSU, Florida, Texas Tech, Clemson, you know, Auburn will be there when the when all is said and done. So it's great to see these teams getting out here and really, like I said, the cream of the crop of the NCAA. Keep an eye on Houston in the red in the middle of the track. And uh, you talked about competition. Three of those top times coming from the Texas Relays. So when you bring those teams together, it just really fuels the fire for uh, for quick times. Again, keep an eye on Sean Maswagani, the South African Olympian for Houston on the final leg. He's run 10.01 in 2041 this season. And set. And we're underway. Virginia, Coppin State, Houston, Albany, Navy, and Syracuse. The Big Orange on the outside in lane nine. And Houston, a good, solid pass they right in the do. middle. Not low, not high. Right in the middle and going down the back straight it is. Houston and Albany, the Great Danes are faring fairly well through 200. But it is the Cougars now on the inside taking over this heat. And there's the stick to Sean Maswagani. You see the C on his chest, the captain for the Cougars, making light work of this one. Through the line, they're in the 39s. An appreciative response from the crowd. Yeah, they were third at Nationals last year, and they'll look to uh, mix it up among the best in the nation again this year, and this is a good step in the right direction. Carl Lewis's squad takes the win. So it's sort of like a trial balloon, maybe for... Don't count out these Jamaican colleges. We see so many of them come, so the Jamaicans come to the U.S. and utilize the great NCAA system, of course, for track, but also for a great education. But it's cool to see the collegiate level as well for these Jamaican teams. Look, any level, the Jamaicans are going to show up. Absolutely. So, again, the focus right there on Yui Mona in lane four, the one of two Jamaican teams in this section. The winner of each of these four heats advances to tomorrow's 
Championship of America final presented by Grace Foods. And that uh, time is 1.15 tomorrow afternoon. And we're underway. So in, Yui Mona in lane four. Wow. They are really running a strong turn along the rail. And catching up to Clemson already on the back straightaway. And Clemson is two lanes to their right. Yui Mona. Another good pass. Both Hansel Parchment among their alumni, Olympic gold medalist in the high hurdles. Look at G.C. Foster on the outside. Here comes Clemson in the orange. G.C. Foster also from Jamaica with Clemson in the middle. Yui Mona in four, G.C. Foster in nine, and here comes the Tigers from Clemson. Clemson sixth fastest in the nation this year. They take the victory here. What a race. Oh, G.C. on the outside, we oh. couldn't see that. Up against the wall. Everybody's standing up, it makes it tough to see. Clemson there in second. Wow, 40-31, so a half of a second.